This is your pointer type a moving coil galvanometer. It's a spring. And this is the dial. And it's a mirror. And these are the magnets. It's a pointer. It's a moving coil. Magnet. You got a spring here. So these are the parts of a moving coil galvanometer. It's a pointer type. So the suspended coil galvanometer are really sensitive. They can measure the current of the order of 10 power minus 8 amperes. Hence these galvanometers have to be carefully handled. So in the laboratory for experiments like a Wheatstone bridge where sensitivity is not required, pointer type galvanometer is used. Pointer type moving galvanometer will have the coil which is pivoted on ball bearings. A lighter aluminium pointer attached to the coil moves around over a scale when current is passed. The restoring couple is provided by a spring. The current sensitivity of a calvometer is defined as the deflection produced when unit current passes through the galvanometer. A galvanometer is said to be sensitive if it produces large deflection for a small current. So, in a galvanometer, the current I is equal to C divided by N into B into B theta, where I is the current, C is the restoring couple per unit twist. N is the number of turns, B is the induction, and B is the length, and theta is the angle, it's angular twist. So theta divided by I is equal to N into B into B by C. Now let's talk about the current sensitivity of the galvanometer. The current sensitivity of the galvanometer can be increased by increasing the number of turns, by increasing the magnetic induction and increasing the area of the coil and it's by decreasing the couple per unit twist of the suspension wire. So phosphor bronze wire is used as a suspension wire which has small couple per unit twist. The voltage sensitivity of the galvanometer is defined as the deflection per unit voltage. So the voltage sensitivity is theta by V is equal to V is equal to I into G. So theta divided by I into G which is equal to N into BBB by CG. When increasing the current sensitivity does not necessarily increase the voltage sensitivity. When the number of turns N is doubled. The current sensitivity is also doubled. The current sensitivity is equal to theta by I is equal to NBB by C. But increasing the number of turns correspondingly increases the resistance G. Hence voltage sensitivity remains unchanged which is given in this equation.